What's up, everybody? Brothers, sisters, psychonauts, and seekers of truth, it is Anonka, and welcome to my bazaar. Today, I have a PCP slash cannabis trip report for you. The title of this trip report is A Lesson in Karma, and was submitted to Irawid in 2007 by the user Young Hippie Teenager. With all that being said, let our story begin. This is the story of two young boys out for some fun, who got a lot more than they bargained for. This is a story of myself and my friend Joel. Joel is a good friend of mine, and we often toke up together. This happened during summer vacation before grade 11, which meant that we just wanted to be two stoned, carefree little bastards. We had a good-sized joint, one gram of cannabis. The guy who sold it to us had said that it was laced with PCP, but we didn't believe him, thinking he just wanted to charge a little extra. Later on, we would discover Jimbo's, the guy who sold it to us, honesty. Joel came over around nine in the morning. And as usual, I told my parents I was going to Joel's while he had said the same to his parents. We were set for a great night. First, we went to the local convenience store to load up on food for the night. And then went to the boardroom, as we like to call our designated spot. When we got there, we ran a few hash tokes and then decided to go for a wander. This was about 10 o'clock. We walked to a soccer field, next to a rather large field of wheat or hay of some sort. We did the usual stoner things, talked about how awesome it was to be high and carefree and all of those great wonderful activities. We then lay down on the soccer field and looked up watching the moonlight play off the clouds, looking at shapes and interesting patterns. This is when I had my first trip out of the night as Joel was trying to show me how a cumulus looked like a goat, I let my eyes take in the entire sky. I was suddenly filled with an intense feeling of awe at the universe, and my mind began to wander in thought of the immense distance between myself and those shiny lights in the sky, the billions of miles that they would have to be for something so incredibly massive to appear so small. And then suddenly my grand thoughts were shattered by a most peculiar shape. There in front of me, in the sky, was an enormous apparition taking up the entire stratosphere. It looked like, like a huge fucking fish, I exclaimed at the top of my lungs. Suddenly, for no particular reason, we both burst out laughing. As I shook with mirth, I could feel the air leaving my lungs in small spurts, and it caused a vibrating tremor to go through my body. We talked about how this was some good shit. Little did we know, it was only the beginning. We went on for another while until about eleven, when we were coming down substantially enough to want to smoke some more. I remembered the stuff we got from Jimbo and suggested the idea. Joel was in agreement. Suddenly, we realized that we had been carrying huge bags of food and hadn't eaten any. We decided to gorge ourselves after a session. We sat down on a nearby swing set and blazed up. It was noticeably harsh on the lungs. After we smoked, we walked over to the wheat field with the idea of sitting down and eating while the high hit us. We rolled around for a second, flattening a circle for us to sit in. Then we broke out the food. As I sat in the grass, chewing on some Mentos, a really interesting sort of high began to come over me. It felt like a marijuana buzz, but something was different. As I sat eating in total silence, the feeling that something was very different suddenly became evident. I began to panic at the state I was entering into. 
It was almost like a light mushroom buzz, except that this was more intense than anything I had ever felt. I felt like nothing existed beyond the small circle flattened in the grass that was up to my chest when standing up. The light from the small lantern I had brought illuminated everything in our circle, but no more. The panic lessened slightly, and I felt I should communicate with Joel, and that it would help me if he was feeling like I was. He said he was feeling really messed up too and was a bit freaked out. Being a seasoned hippie tripper, I knew what to do. I explained that if anything goes bad about a trip, just go with it. Think positive, and it would just be one cool ride. This was about 20 minutes in. We ate and talked, mostly about how cool this high was, as it got more and more intense. Then we started talking about the universe, and this was when the PCP really kicked in. Our talk came to the conclusion that life is governed by karma. Life was divided into two types of action. Actions that resulted in quote-unquote good vibes, and actions resulting in bad vibes. We deduced that humankind has raped and destroyed the earth since we are the first people to make waste. It was as though every word we spoke was law, and I believe every bit of it. It was as though this drug had opened up our minds to see what the world really was, not how society had conditioned us since birth to believe. I realized why I had the views I had, how society had shaped them and told me all the lies as a child. First and foremost being, drugs are bad. It was insane how this drug was making me think. It was as though it had taken me to a level above the rest of the world. I felt an extreme apartness from everything around me except the natural world. As I sat in our cocoon of grass, I felt as though I had become one with nature, that I finally understood the universe and the purpose of us being here. How could I have not seen it? It was so blatantly obvious. One must live in good vibes and reach these states of enlightenment. Only then can they reach the next state of peace. And suddenly, it hit me like a ton of bricks. The next level. All of those ancient history classes about ancient religion, Buddhism, Nirvana, the state of enlightenment. That was what we had to achieve. And PCP was the way to get there. All of these thoughts raced rampant through my head, and this was only the beginning. In a state of utter bliss, I let myself fall backwards into the grass, and felt like I was falling through fire, as which I now look back and realize was grass brushing my back. The fire did not burn me, though. I was above it, temporarily in nirvana, total enlightenment. As I fell back, I was suddenly soaring through the sky in what was probably the most powerful hallucination I have ever had. I felt as though I was soaring on wings made of dreams through the consciousness of the millions of people asleep in their beds. I went through thousands of people's dreams, and the one that sticks most in my memory is that of a small African boy whose mother had been shot by a militant group of rebels. The dream lasted a few hours. I watched the boy weep over his mother's body and run from the bad men who had gunned her down. And that was how it was for what seemed like an eternity. When suddenly I felt as though I was being sucked down to the ground in an enormous vacuum, thud, I hit the ground. I then realized that only a few seconds had passed. Time was totally not perceivable. I looked at Joel. He had a dazed look and was apparently tripping out on his own mind as much as I had. I looked at my watch. It was 11.45. Joel had to go home at 12.30 and I at 1 o'clock. Suddenly, Joel snapped out of it. And we once more began our conversation of the universe and how fortunate we were to have figured it out. 
We sat and ate and talked for a while, pondering about which kind of vibe each action we would make. We got into a very deep discussion about the magnitude of the good vibe that came from us figuring out karma. Soon it was 12.15, and Joel and I started home. He went to his house, but I still had an hour to kill, and was still significantly stoned. So I did what I often do when I'm stoned and alone, and lay down under an oak tree. I then tripped out while staring at the moon shadows of the branches, making shapes and patterns whirling about, periodically glancing at my watch until it was time to go home. At 12.35, I ambled back to my place. I snuck upstairs so as not to wake my parents and climbed into bed with my headphones on, letting the sweet sounds of one Jimi Hendrix soothe me to a great sleep. And so ended what I would like to consider one of the best trips of my life. Upon awakening the next morning, I shabbily tried to piece back together the night's events. I called Joel, and we both admitted that we were really fucked up last night, and that we had no clue what the fuck we were talking about. Then we decided to give Jimbo a call and get some more of that god shit. Alright everybody, that is the end of our story. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Share with us your PCP experiences down in the comments below. Check out the other videos and playlists on my channel, and I will see you in the next one, fam. Deuces.